What up, players? This is gonna be a crazy video. Pretty much what we're gonna be doing in this video, sanding this thing down. I'm gonna take you guys through it. A lot of people ask questions about like how it is or like what are the steps to like prepping a car for paint and stuff. And to be honest, I really don't know like all the main steps, but my brother does since he's the one that always paints. So as I'm going through, I'll be asking him what to do and I'll be able to tell you guys like the steps or whatever. So pretty much we're gonna start off, at least for me, since I'm gonna be doing most of the sanding and not really the body work or anything, but I'm gonna just get this paint all the way down to bare metal. I'm gonna be working one panel at a time, just at my own pace because my brother is busy anyway. So who knows how long it's gonna be primed for waiting for paint. So I'm gonna start with the deck lid today, the trunk. I'm gonna sand this down to bare metal. I'm gonna use a DA. Then I'll probably move to the doors or the fenders. I don't know what the order is, but I'm gonna take you guys through it all. My brother's actually working on his truck right now at the same time, because he wants to respray his black again. Since uh, he has a lot of primer spots on it, just from like little touch-ups when his hood flew open. So yeah, his shit's gonna be getting painted this week. Maybe this weekend, and I don't know about mine, so. But this is the DA I'm gonna be using, just in case anybody cares. I don't know, Baller, I guess, is a brand. And I'm gonna be using 40 grit. This shit's fucking rough as hell, so. Plug this thing in, and I'm gonna start going to town on this. Um, probably be best to like tape up your windows and stuff so you don't scratch them up. Also, avoid going into the corners too much, because. The corners burn down a lot easier than just like the surface and stuff because it has all the paint. So avoid like your corners. Try not to dig into any other parts too much and stay like even throughout the whole panel. Don't just, you got to stay even so it all comes down together. I don't know. I don't really know too much about this, but I'm going to just get it down to bare metal and stop once I get there. So update you guys in a bit. In a bit. players i just been sanding for like 10 minutes maybe and i found the original color this i mean i've always knew it was this beige i think it's like gobi beige or some kind of beige i don't remember but got it down to the bare metal and then there's this beige which is the original color and i guess somebody had it painted burgundy before over the original paint and then there's a primer layer and then another primer layer and then my black so it's like one two three four five layers i gotta go through just to get it to bare metal yeah it's gonna be a minute before i get this whole thing down to bare metal so i'm gonna just keep going and uh there's dust flying everywhere so i'm not gonna leave my camera out here doing the time lapse or anything i'm gonna just show you guys when i get big parts done all right players pretty much halfway done i got this side all down to bare metal and then i still need to get this past the burgundy paint or red whatever color it was and then the original beige and the little primer that it has under it and then also i'm gonna just do like this little piece right here i'm about to open the trunk up i'm gonna take out the little key cylinder or lock cylinder and the nova badge and yeah it's getting there guys freaking hot outside and this took about like an hour probably like an hour and a half to get down to bare metal just because i'm just using the DA to sand it. I don't really want to use any paint strip or anything because that shit leaves a big mess. Even though this leaves a big mess, but that stuff's the worst to clean up. And sometimes if you get on your skin, that shit burns. So I'm gonna keep going on this one till it looks like that. All right, players, trunk is done on the outside pretty much. Um, actually looks pretty cool. Now that it's all bare metal, but this is where the Nova badge goes and then the key lock cylinder or whatever. I'm actually gonna sand that down like by hand right now to get all the black from in here, but pretty solid. All right, players, trunk is pretty much finished. I'm about to wipe it down, get it ready for Martin to primer it. And yeah, looks sick. Um, pretty straight. It kind of has like one little low spot that Martin noticed, but we're just gonna get primer on it so it doesn't rust. And we'll worry about it another day. Tomorrow I'm gonna probably hit the quarter panel. And Dean's about to paint his stuff over here too. His cow panel. 
Or you're gonna primer them too, right? I'm gonna primer them right now. Prime his hood and his cow panel. And then my trunk. So once he's done setting all his stuff up, then he could get the primer going, but He just painted or primered his uh, cow panel, shaved cow panel, and now he's doing his hood. Even though it has a bunch of leaves. But that's it for the Novus part today, pretty much. He's about to finish that, and then maybe we'll finish something else tomorrow. Who knows? But I'll catch you guys up tomorrow. All right, players. Next day. Oh, shit. Next day. And. Trunk is dry. Looks good. Time to get on this bad boy right here. So I'm going to start bringing all this stuff out again. Get the DA ready and start going after this. Alright players. I got a little ahead of myself. And I just finished the whole thing. I don't remember if I recorded like some parts. But pretty much did the whole quarter panel. I did that uh, side marker like freaking first week or first month that I bought the Nova. Just going to get all the Bondo out of there better, but for now that's cool. And this thing has a bunch of holes that I have to freaking fill in from somebody trying to repair the quarter panel before. It has a bunch of spots. The quarter panel is not as fucking... It could have been worse. I thought it was going to be worse, but it's not too bad. At least for me. And then I started going this way. I took off the bumper and the tail lights. And I was using like the wire wheel because this stuff was all messed up and nasty. Full of like old seam sealer or something. Like this side you can see. And then dude, I was going this way. And look at how crusty this side is. I'm going to have to fix all this crap right here. This stuff is gross. So I'm going to have to start doing that stuff. I'll probably like leave all the rust stuff like till later. And just get all the paint off first and leave it all primered. Before I start messing with any of the rust or anything. That way I could just focus like one good day on fixing all the rust and all that stuff. Which is going to be the most annoying part. But I think that's it for today. I'm going to go get some primer. And um, prep all this stuff up and just probably mask the windows and stuff. So I could spray it, mask the wheels up. But that's pretty much it for today. I think tomorrow... I think tomorrow I'm going to just start doing the same thing, but on this side, so get like this whole quarter panel. I have class tomorrow, so I can't stay on it as long as I am today. So maybe just do one side, and I'll be good. Alright, players. Hopefully you guys could hear. It's pretty windy out here. Hopefully the audio is not all messed up, but I'm about to start doing the doors. Started on the driver's side door, but I pretty much got the this caveman over here. I got this quarter panel primered. I think I already showed you guys that. The trunk lid primered, all this back shit, like kind of bumper and stuff. And I got this quarter panel primered. I didn't record much of this one, but this side's a little more worse than the other side as far as the rust goes. Just a few little spots I gotta fix. And then a little bit of body work is kind of like beat up right here, but surprisingly pretty straight. I'm happy with how it's coming out. So now I'm gonna go attack the doors right now. While those guys are coming. The C10 over there. Alright guys. Another day. Knocked out this door. Uh, I should have did the little pillar around it, but I didn't even think about it till now. But this thing has a bunch of little holes like from Somebody trying to pull a dent out before and then all this. So right now I'm just I got it all down to bare metal and uh I'm gonna primer it up probably tomorrow 
probably knock out the other door and then start moving to the fenders or the roof but just wanted to update you guys real quick all right players this is probably like my fifth day on this um i just finished the passenger side door and i want to show you guys real quick i don't know if i uh mentioned it in the intro i know i was talking for a bit in the intro but i wanted to mention this just in case i didn't say it the main reason why i'm doing this since um when I bought the car, it was primered, and all we did was really scuff up the primer and paint over it, paint this satin black over it. But over time, it's been getting cracked and stuff in the paint. Well, there's none right here, but most of them were like on the edges right here of the wheel well or the lip or whatever. And like you could see some right here, some on the roof, you could see these cracks. There's another crack right there. Like all throughout the paint, it was ended. It ended up cracking, like slowly over time. And my brother was telling me that he wouldn't repaint it unless I took it down to bare metal. So I'm sending every panel down to bare metal. And I just wanted to show you guys like some of the reason why we think it's been cracking is because you can see right here every layer of paint. So the bare metal, obvious. This barely you could see that like reddish color. That's the original primer. This yellow beige color is the original paint that this car came from the factory. And then somebody painted a burgundy over that. And then there was primer. And between the burgundy and primer, there's been bundle patches everywhere. So that's pretty much where all the cracks and stuff have been coming from. I don't know if they just didn't prep too well this burgundy over the original paint or what they did but that's pretty much causing a lot of the cracks the body's not perfect like there's some spots here and there they're kind of messed up but for the most part it's straight like this was old repair so there's a bunch of these little holes from somebody doing the body work before so i just got to poke all these holes through and re-weld them the trunk is solid this back panel's got like a little dent right here but for the most part everything's solid it's coming out real nice we're mostly worried about the doors and that's pretty much what had like the most damage from everything it's not bad damage it's fixable stuff but like it is damage so but i'm glad i'm taking it all down you can see the body lines a lot more now that there's not like six layers over it all so i'm super hyped i can't wait to finish all of this now that I just finished this door, um, well, actually, I got to get this door handle off and the lock cylinder so I could finish this piece, but I'm pretty much finished with this door. I'm going to move on to the roof next, and I'm going to just keep rolling with this thing. Fenders, cow panel, and hood are next. Pretty much the front end is going to be next, but like I said, I'm going to just keep rolling on this. I know I'm just showing you guys short clips, just updating you, but... It's going to be worth it at the end, guys. It's just going to be sick. I've just been doing the same stuff. Been using this DA with the, I think it's 40 grit. Yeah, 40 grit. Um, and it works pretty good. It takes off the bondo quick in some of those patchy areas, but it's doing good. All right, players. I'm going to be wrapping up this week's video pretty much. Leaving off with just the fenders and hood left. Um, I did the doors, the roof now. I don't know if I had progress videos of the roof, but I'll show some pictures I took on my phone. I did the pillars, the drip rails all done around the doors, the door frame or whatever you want to call it. This side, I did the whole other side too, so it's exactly the same. Like I said, just need the fenders. Also, I actually did this too. I actually did like, the door jams and stuff. I got all this ready. I got up here. Next, I'm gonna start doing all this because this is still the original. I mean, this is still the black from before. I'm gonna clean up this corner. You can see where it's all gross looking in there. So that's where I left off. I'm gonna clean all that. Go all the way across and get all this, this piece done. But I did the same thing on the other side. And then around the door. So... Once the whole car is all done, which I'm probably gonna just show short clips of the fenders in the next vid in next week's video, but next week most likely will be 
repairing all the little holes and all the little spots that are in the doors and the quarter panels and stuff fixing the rust i'm also going to be showing you guys i got a new front and rear bumper because my other ones were damaged too i don't know if you guys have ever saw my other rear bumper but it wasn't straight like this so i got another one this one's just loose but i had backed into one of my dad's uh cars a while back so it was kind of like all messed up so now i got another one and i'm gonna be showing you guys how we um shave the bumper bolts so i just got these bolts for now just to hold the brackets all on but i'm gonna be shaving these i'm gonna be showing you guys how to do that same thing with the front bumper and yeah we're making good progress on this also my brother just finished painting his c10 again so it's all nice and black it's all one black it's not primered in spots ever since he uh ever since his hood flew open he was fixing panels on it but now it's all finely sprayed sat in black again and he also just sprayed the bed with bed liner and it's the same like burgundy color as a seat so it looks pretty dope i'm gonna show some clips of him painting that and yeah so that's pretty much what's been going on back here you guys already seen bethel's carbon fiber setup and all but i'm gonna try to keep getting some cool videos out weekly for you guys drop some more merch i'm trying to do something right now with bethel's car for a new t-shirt design and hopefully i can come out with some new stuff for summer so i'll catch you guys in next week's video peace